Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Pro Cycling Manager 2020 with Max Van Dyck. And he just seems to have a level up after that tour of Norway stage we just raced in the last episode. Uh, there was a month tick and that month tick was enough to peel us over to the other side of level 15 towards level 16. Two points over the mark, which is nice. Let's see what we are getting. And that is indeed a good level up. Or so we hope. <laughs> we shall see. So far in this uh, playthrough, we have had abysmal luck with the um, with the level ups. Apart from a few, I think two early-ish ones that were decent. Uh, and this one is looking like absolute garbage once again. Okay. Absolute garbage. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't think this works. Uh, I really don't think that works. Look at this. Time trial. We have massive potential in there. And yet, even if you select the time trial, you um, don't get anything. So let's talk about this real quick. Because I have noticed this before. And I don't think I've expanded on what is going on here. I think from my testing... And we've tested this extensively on this channel. There was another playthrough where I wanted to go from uh, making a pure barodeur and turning him into a tour rider by um, choosing potential in, uh, what was it, I think in climber and in stage races. And that just didn't work. We had good potential then. Uh, but absolutely no skill points would go into... Incre would would come out of the level despite having good potential. So what I think is go is happening is that either and the, your potential doesn't matter for how many skill points you get, but your initial specialization does. Um, so, or maybe your your it doesn't consider any improved um, improved stats, improved potential. For your increase beyond capping it. It can cap it, but it doesn't help you gain those stats. That would be absolutely terrible if that were the case, and it seems to be the case. Look at this bullshit. We have massive potential, and even though we're training for it, we can't increase our performance in it. So, everything you're doing here is in vain if you're trying to build a character that is going beyond his initial capabilities um, or limits rather then this is oh, this is so disappointing uh, sprinter yay yeah, sprinter not better is it now here we get something puncher okay this one is looking s semi, semi decent uh, two in stamina uh, I thought this was important of course um, we've now found out that it absolutely doesn't matter but it still kind of does, especially for tour riding it does matter because this is um, more recovery than recovery, really. <laughs> I think you can you can win a tour if you have high stamina but low recovery. Um, although those race day condition bonuses you get from recovery are of course on a different level than just having your freshness up, which stamina does. While recovery also gets you bonuses towards the later stages of a stage race. Um, so sprint plus one. Yeah, okay. We still don't have more flats. What what is going on here? Northern Classics gives us more time trial than time trial. And okay, here we have with the Barodeur, we have a decent level up beyond the fact that we get no mountain or hill. Uh, of course, you wouldn't expect that for Barodeur. But um, what more do we have? Stage races. Mountain. Time trial plus one. Prologue plus one. Yeah, okay. At least recovery is also plus one. Downhill. Okay. Don't see that too often. Um, climber. Time trial. Not hill. Wait, where's our hill stat? Oh man, this is so disappointing. Uh, at least this one has some somewhat decent stats for us, the puncher. And that would be plus two stamina. And we get one hill and mountain and one time trial. And an additional one in sprint. In downhill, also nice. But, yeah, this is not enough stats. At this point, 
we need much higher stat increases than this. All right, the punch it is. It's not much, but it's what we are getting. The seven point level up. Ugh, nasty. Oh, oh yeah, We're talking about nasty. More stuff that is nasty. We also do have a skill point to spend, but let's take a look at our contracts first. Uh, someone here is in the yellow. And they are pro team, so that is decent. Let's put another two points into there. And now, where do we put our skill point? Hmm, no need for the willpower skill at the moment. I think towards the end of the season, we should take a charisma point just so that on the start of the next season we can choose um, to just customize our race calendars right from the start and have all the points available to us. Uh, that would make things a little easier, but this is also unnecessary. Uh, I think for now we can still be in discovery mode, because that is handy to know the stats and we still don't have a full library of, of stats of our opponents. so. Yeah, maybe that is the way to go at the moment. Observation, not using that too much. Also, observation is kind of useless if you don't know the stats of the riders even because you don't get to observe anything at that point uh, or it has a very high rate of failure and only reveals very limited information. So I think what would make sense is either to split these or go level two here. Huh. Improved analysis of the results of races on the calendar. Is that specific your team calendar or is that all races in the season? Because if it's all, then it would cover the entire field, the entire field of professional riders. Um, but this one is only for those taking part in the races you're racing. Hmm. We are racing a lot. So I think for now, this one is, this one is probably more powerful and this one weaker, but um, this one's covers a larger area. It's an area of effect bombardment of knowledge and this one is not so much. It's very targeted. Uh, just targeting the peloton. Nuke the peloton from orbit. Uh, let's go level 2 here. I've never, probably never chosen that. Oh yeah, uh, never chosen that in this year's version. I have of course in the past. In 2019, uh, PCM 2019, I did make a ride that got up to level 30 something something so I would have spent most of or would have had most of these branches complete okay here we go very very hilly An interesting one uh, also towards the end quite hilly should be should be a yeah I think we can do well in this one in general uh, especially with our new upgraded stats that are so much better than before not and there we go a zero today that's fine uh, that's a decent roll so let's take our helper lock him in and and just just roll uh, let's see Ooh, that those are respectable climbs there's probably some uh, mountain jersey man are you going are you going just yet? No? Okay, no one is going. Well, then uh, I guess we have a new Mountain Jersey guy at the end of this. So there are seven SKPs up front. Three minutes tw 40 on the clock now. Uh, but always in the flat coming back to more reasonable times. The Peloton is chasing pretty hard with my guys at the front as well helping out. And yeah not quite halfway stage but all the points that are scattered along are just being soaked up by the escape group so not much work here to do oh apart from looking out for um, splits in the peloton well, let's set it to 85 and roll along the peloton has upped the pace significantly in the past few kilometers and we're able to just hold position very well 30 kilometers left to go how far are the escapees away? 1 minute 30. That's not enough for them. So now let's finally take a look at the finish itself. Ooh, interesting one. A few punchy little climbs and then we have an, an, uh, an uphill finish line but only 1.5% roughly. Yeah, it's not too steep. Alright, Enger, 
you certainly do need a super leader ability put on you because you are getting wasted a little in this chase uh, and there are some climbs to come which you won't like oh look at that the green jersey is in the group behind did they have a fall or something this is going way too slow Can why why is no one moving five kilometers left do we want to activate our bar right now Only five kilometers left. yeah I think so I think we need to this is not significantly worse to have terrain than usual, so we should be triggering it right about at the right time. Uh, and now comes this this little punch. Just this little punch. Let's try to move in there as one of the first riders. Yeah, he will be strained a lot, but this is the two kilometer mark. Are they not trying to contest it, or what is going on? Um, we have our bar active, that's perfect. Just move hard, move hard, move hard. And then you can start sprinting. Uh, yeah, this would be a downhill sprint for you, so that is fine. So you start sprinting, and you start following. There we go. Go, 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 go hard. Who can follow? Yeah, you're a decent sprinter. There we have our main competitor. Mm, in a decent position so he's giving it a good go we still because it's slightly down here or quite a bit down here we are not losing any red so that's a perfect lead out for us but of course a little dangerous because we have some stronger riders on our wheel let's see how long he lasts pretty long there's the kilometer we can now sprint ourselves he tries to get past but I don't think he will succeed Oh, he's got... Holy shit, he's fast. Come on. Wow, okay, that was perfect timing. Bam! <laughs> nice. Okay, that was a solid win. And the dick is taking today's win. Uh, not a surprise. 19 seconds ahead. As expected, another 10. He wasn't He wasn't, wasn't anywhere to be seen. In fact, he was in a group behind. Oh, he lost plenty of... No, he didn't lose any time. Maybe they did come together in the end. Uh, yeah, we have that jersey secured, that's for sure. Uh, no longer in contention for this one. And young rider jersey, mm, probably also going to take that one. Uh, what is the next stage, or rather the last stage? 33 points, nice. Ah, there we go, stage number 6. And, ooh, what? Why are there first category climbs in this one? They don't look that, that scary. Yeah, I know, I know why they put them there. It's probably a pretty good tour design overall um, although it kind of devalues all the effort by SKPs the days prior uh, yeah it's questionable questionable for sure debatable we are one of the favorites here and I assume they want us to finish on top this has a sprint finish so that is in our favor um, maybe let's see can we maybe grab some points here we are in fifth Hmm, we're in fifth, 20 points. So that is a bit more than one of these first category climbs. I'm pretty confident we would be able to take that one if we wanted to. Uh, unless, of course, they go completely mad in the sprint. And there's a few seconds to grab here. We are leading, though, by a wide margin, and I expect us to pick up some more seconds at the finish. So we don't need to perform super well at um, these sprints. We could let them out, um, let them lie on the wayside and just gra grab if anything is left over. But yeah, these mountain points would be juicy. I don't think we can grab any of these. Yeah, unless, of course, the escape group is small. Now, let's race it. It is a beautiful day today. As you can see, Norway is sunny. Beautiful. Anyway. We are riding at a... M oh, fucking hell. What a way to end it. Ah, uh, minus two. That's not good. We do have a decent helper. Four SKPs have gone off the front. I... Oh, yeah, it looks like he will also join them. The pace, uh, the pace has picked up, though. So maybe they do want to catch them. Yeah, this is going to tire them out enormously. I think we are going to catch back this one rider at least. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, 17 seconds, 12. 
that rider is doomed. Okay, he's gone. And they continue riding. Oh, for fuck's sake. And now seven escapees are out. Ah, you idiots. And now they're allowed to ride. What the hell? Okay, what? So be it. No more points for us to grab this stage. And, uh, apart from the last first category climb. We haven't even checked out these climbs. Let's take a look. Well, <laughs> that's certainly not a second category climb. <laughs> it's a little buckle, uh, bump in the road. And then we have uh, that bigger one. Yes, N number one. Oh, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. That is some tempo they are doing. Uh, still can't phase me. Whew. That's speed, yo. And the uh, escapees are breaking apart. And now comes the actual climb. Hmm. Let's see how fast that is. 4.4 kilometers left. We might be able to catch one or two of these, but I think there's still seven in total up front. This is... It, it, like, okay. Has anyone ever found out a, a way to... Like, see the entire race overview, or is there, like, keyboard shortcuts? This, by the way, is where you see how to control your camera. Um, or here on the info, yes. In info, and then you just keyboard shortcuts. Uh, but, how do you scroll from side to side? And with that, I mean in here. Like, is it ar arrow keys? No, that's still just focused on the race. The... <laughs> Why, why is there no arrow or something that's pointing there? Because I do want to see who's up front there. Whew. They're yeah, setting a pace. They're yeah, setting a pace. And that, that they is my teammate, Enger. He's just sprinting at the front. Holy shit, he's going. Uh, yeah, at that speed, I definitely can't get to the front. Whew. Also, it's pretty much impossible to grab the jersey now. If we Even if we wanted to. Someone up there with 65 points. Okay, now things have become a bit more interesting. Just two riders up front. And those two are falling apart. Alright, no more escapees. So now it's just the peloton. Let's have a look at the finish. Uh, after we set that to 85. So we're getting closer. Eh, it's a pretty punchy, punchy little climb. This first category one. And a sprint right beforehand. We should not participate in that, but stay in a good place instead. And we can easily move to the front whenever we want, as you see there. Um, okay, we do want to stay on top of things over the first category climb. Don't necessarily need the points. Uh, and then the sprint itself is a kilometer, roughly, of um, 3%. All right, so sneaking ability activated. Let's go 85 I've started way too far down, by the way. That was not a good move. I was sleeping. Sleeping at the wheel. At both wheels. Um, um, is there enough of a downhill sector afterwards so that we can get back? Yeah, I think so. Should be fine. We should be fine here, especially with our sneaking ability activated. Getting right to the front. Yeah, they can't get away there. The tempo wasn't high enough. This is looking the good. Is yeah, we are up in perfect position here. The only problem is that our helper isn't. Now let's activate Super Leader, and he can maybe catch up. Five kilometers left, but pretty fast, so let's activate the bar. At least something that I'm not forgetting now. And uh, here we go. Oh, also map. Time. Don't forget that, Killero. Don't forget the map. So very windy, and then straight, 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 straight. Everything straight. So, okay, after the downhill, there, is, there are no more hazards. Ooh, they're starting... Are they starting early? Nah. Oh, our bar is starting early. Uh, that might not be too good. Let's uh, hang in here for a sec. Come on, move forward, move forward, move forward. Okay, now he is right there. Oh, dot 85 isn't enough. All right, let's move to the side. Let's our hel let's have our helper help out. He is not in the best of positions. <laughs> He's going to take it by himself. Um, nah. So let's counter sprint with my little non-sprinter. That might help or not. Uh, here we go. I'm still waiting, still waiting. There's the kilometer. So now let's go, 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 go. Accelerate, 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 
accelerate, and yes, we have, oh, he died so hard on those last meters, <laughs> okay, uh, solid stage win, yes, good timing there. Victory for Van Dick. He slapped his dick all around Norway, and very successfully so. Uh, that is a clean sweep apart from Mount Jersey, where we are only fifth. Now, we could have gotten into third if we paid proper attention and wasted ourselves on the this final ascent, but nah, I chose not to. And in the end, it was 29 seconds, all from bonus time. And uh, what does that give us? 94 points! Oh, that is that is quite quite the thing. 94 is good for a six-stager. But now the question is, oh, please. Okay, it's an easy one. It's an easy one because we are only at 90% freshness uh, because of our uh, obvious uh, no, no gap to... Oh, for fuck's sake, this calendar is still broken. Why can't you just go back a week? No, you can't. It completely excludes anything that is in the past. So if you go like there, then you go as far into the future as you can see in this cal in calendar. So you're fucked. Um, that is not good. I wish, especially because of how broken it is, we are on the third. So we can't even see what's on today. They still haven't fixed this after like four years, five years. I, I don't even know. Uh, anyway, that's to be expected. It's PCM after all. And hmm, so short time drive. What I wanted to say is we have a freshness of 90% because we didn't have a break. No rest day between um, Tour of Norway and this one. So we uh, only travel in between and we don't get proper recovery. We only get normal post-race recovery. Um, but, or do we? Maybe we were at 90% because the, the races were so strenuous. I don't know though. Ah, that would be weird. But it would also be weird to just end up at 90. I, I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyway, uh, we have uh, a prologue. In prologues, we don't suck that badly. Only... We are only very mediocre, especially at poor um, race day conditions. Let's see what we can do. Five kilometers. Finish in the top 30 of the stage. Okay. They're considering there are over 120 riders, that doesn't seem to be all that far down. Let's hope our race day condition is somewhat okay. So from the looks of things, uh, observing my teammates, it seems like we have to go 79 or 80. Uh, to get rid of all that resistance that we have. Uh, let's see where we end up. Um, let's start out with 80. Can always slow down a little. Oh, plus two. Ooh, that's nice. Prologue plus six, so 73 in prologue. That's strong. Uh, let's go with 80 and see where we end up. Uh, heart rate is pretty much spot on. Oh, now that's a little too much. So let's do 79 instead. Yeah, still not catching up. There were some corners coming, though, where it's uh, slightly slower. Oh, that one. It's just one corner. Um, oh, right. All right, so maybe 78 it is. Yeah, that is now catching up a little. It's looking better. That is looking better. All right, slowing down and accelerate up. Let's go 79 again or 80. Or even more. Go, go, go. Accelerate. Boom. Okay. Whew. Done. Where are we? Are we even on... 33rd? Holy shit. Okay, that was bad. But only 16 seconds. That's not that bad. Also, one thing I noticed there. It was completely ridiculous. Right before the finish line, we were riding at 32 kilometers an hour? Uh, how does that make any sense? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This game can be a little weird sometimes. We were out of resistance, but we still had so much momentum going forward. So that, that was weird. Uh, yeah. So we are way down here, but not in a terribly far off position. 17 seconds is not that much. Four points for that. Perfectly flat stage with a second category climb. Oh man, mountain sprint. Oh, we are the favorites. Okay, cool. Uh, that should mean that we have a somewhat easy time to grab bonus seconds. And with that, 
Uh, we should have the overall win in reach because uh, we're just those 16 or 17 seconds down. That's uh, uh it's two wins because 16 seconds would be one win and one second place. I hear them wins. They are indeed uh, present and we do have we know nothing about him. Corn, uh, we know very little about you. Let's take the new guy. Let's take the new guy. Uh, you are my helper now. You are my my little bitch. This is bitch mode. All right, moving to the front as I'm going to try and grab some of those mountain points. Just staying here for the moment. Oh, I think they are trying to go. Uh, yeah, I mean, two kilometers left. Let's also get to the front again. It's looking good, looking good. Oh, all right, don't block me, bro. For the pack. They don't have in the Are car. they sprinting for the mountain points? Hmm, uh, do I want to contest them then? Uh, this is going to take a little bit of piss out of me. I mean, I can try to go 85. Nah, look at them. Those bastards. And he yeah. Away in attack. Yeah, that's bad timing. They don't even try here. This is not because of the mountain points they're going. So, 19 kilometers left to go. Six SKPs within uh, reach, as you can see there. They are up, up for grabs. And then it's a very flat finish. There's barely anything to be seen here apart from a few pimples on the road and we have the map ready here as well that is all oh, right we are passing it very soon so let's see where the flamme rouge is just to make sure that we have that all under control the pack is uh, what are you guys doing where's the flamme rouge the there is no flamme rouge that's okay very good that's good to know the that there is no flamme rouge no oh now i have access to everyone everyone wants to help me that's that's nice guys um, yeah I do still don't know anything about you mate but you are still having plenty of resistance left he is not great in sprints and he certainly isn't either so why not chance with him I mean we're not going to rely on him, on him today that's uh, super leader you come on yeah for fuck's sake why do I have to press five times that makes no sense. While the pack is getting close to the All right, here we go. So, 5.7 kilometers left now into the wind. So, let's activate our bar a little later than usual, well, which would be about uh, now. And we're just moving 42 kilometers now, which is perfectly adequate for such brutal winds. You wouldn't even be moving that speed. At that, at that wind into your face, you would not be moving 45. <laughs> that is a uh, very high speed. Um, that, what would that be? Roughly the equivalent... Oh, no, you, mm, you have more, more air, effective area if the wind is coming from the side like this. So, uh, roughly equivalent of um, riding 70-ish kilometers an hour, maybe a bit more at the moment in the flat. So that would be... Uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of crazy. But anyway, we have to go back to the front. Back to the front like this, yes. 3.3 remaining. Um, now that we have 3.3 remaining... Oh, that corner is pretty close. So the Flamme Rouge would be here or should have been there. Um, maybe we just missed it. Maybe right in the corner. Maybe that's why they didn't place it. All right. Uh, don't get to the front too early because of this high wind. That would be very detrimental to your red bar and as you can see it already is yeah yeah but we we can just try to get into a good place and then strike so 1.8 uh, the last little bit is not headwind and we are right now about halfway there so this is indeed roughly at 900 meters um, going out into the headwind like this is not not great but his red bar will hold for another little moment. So you go and sprint. And I go and follow you? No, you're at 190 already. There let's wait. And let's sprint. Okay, go, go, go. Urgh, into the wind. Into the wind we go. Excel. 
How did he do that? How? What? He didn't sprint earlier than me. Like, does he have such high acceleration? I mean, we have 79. Maybe. Okay, he's completely going to trance me. Uh, that's interesting. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, oh, and we are out of juice. But that should be enough really still. Yes. Well, he was clearly stronger there. He had such high acceleration. That was crazy. Just rocketing past me. I think the timing in general was pretty good. Um, us taking the sprint from the front obviously is, isn't the best thing you can do. But uh, with the timing that we, that no one else started to sprint earlier, that meant that basically that was as well as we could have done. So, six seconds down, 11 to go. Four points for that. Holy shit, are you kidding me? <laughs> Four points once again. <laughs> yeah, not much experience there if you don't win. Whew, crazy little stage. And the, I think the last climb here, that one, is has a little cobble sector in it or something. Uh, that's be why this one is classified as a cobble stage. Uh, doesn't phase us whatsoever. Uh, we are slowly moving up the ranks. 13th now. And again, favorite to win the race. Which, by the way, sucks ass, because that means that we are getting no points if we um, come anything but first. And then even if we come first, we only get 15, which also sucks. Here we are with a zero. Oh, that's quite nice. Uh, other riders, they are all sprint train. Mm, okay. Where's the cobble sector? Oh, yeah, yeah, there it is. Uh, it looks like that very large... Ah, three star. Okay. Zero, kilo, zero, 0.0, 0 kilometers. Thanks for that information. Very helpful. I think it's that last one there. Yeah, the third category. Oh, we already know a little bit more about the cyclist now. After this one stage. Due to our fantastic skills. Uh, have we actually spent that last skill point? I believe we did. Yeah, hopefully. So, yeah, let's use him again. He seems to be alright. Three escapees up front, but others are trying to get away. So that will be a tough day for these escapees in the saddle. Now, uh, everyone is caught. New group is going. Five riders. They are splitting up. Holy shit, this is a little hectic. This is pretty tough terrain. I, I like it, though. That's good for me. Because mountain skill. And also, this is a very long stage. We only have 72 stamina. I, I I think on this kind of level, it should be fine to just have that. On the other hand, there are, um, there are some good guys in here. Like Team Ineos is riding. So you better bring more than a stat of 70 to the table. Whew, the escapee still have 3 minutes 20 on the clock. That's a lot. Uh, are we even going to catch them? 54 kilometers left to go? Ah, yep, yeah, yeah, that's the last one is the cobble sector. Um, so, still 3 point. Whoa, that's for the SKPs, the 0.5. So we need to try and get to the front. Probably activate our uh, sneaking ability. Not sneaking, uh, ealing ability. Yeah, okay. Let's eel through and let's go dot effort just to be safe. Yeah, no one can break us now. That is fine. Oh yeah, we're going off the front. If it rains, a rider's agility is far more important than when it's dry. And we're through. Yes, this will probably split up the peloton quite heftily. Uh, yeah, fall back, fall back, fall back. That's fine. Now the, the others so need to. Oh yeah, 23 riders remaining. Let's see if the uh, Ineos guys are wanting to ride. <laughs> Molano is going hard. He's like, yeah, let's attack. Uh, Bellucci trying something. I don't know what is going on. This seems a little ridiculous. But um, yeah, as long as you guys hold the pace. Oh, wow. wow well, yeah, not only are they holding the pace, they almost get away. So let's ride hard. Keep up with them. Yeah, okay. Now it has normalized a bit. Yeah, my little move there has totally split up the peloton. Just 19 riders remaining. And they are ra racing reasonably hard. But they are getting back now. Okay. Yeah didn't quite keep the pace. They don't need to. Oh, okay. This is a proper chase. They're actually going for it. 
and they're actually trying to is to catch uh, capture the escapees just one minute left now it has collapsed with uh, by a minute over the last 10 kilometers and they keep at it it looks like there are just 15 kilometers left yes 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 15 kilometers left less than a minute to go 39 seconds holy shit that? That is Team Ineos chasing there, I believe. The yeah, yeah, with Formulana. But behind. why is he so far forward? That might be good for me. He wants to have another win. Oh, uh, eight kilometers left. Let's activate Super Leader for him. Because he certainly needs it in under these circumstances. And we did chase them down. That was impressive. Just one ride up front. And they let him ride. All right, that makes perfect sense. You you capture all of them, and apart from one, and you l just let him ride. That makes sense. Um, you're not that fit anymore, I assume. Maybe thick-legged or something. Yeah, he's moving slowly. Very slow. And this is... Oh, let's check the, the map. Uh, we need to see if that one... Where's the finish? Where's the bloody finish? Where are we? Oh, here, on this little little course. Yeah, okay, we are moving in this direction. So there are two corners before the finish. Um, if this is six kilometers from here to there, then indeed that those two corners might matter. So we do want to spread, uh, start our sprint a little early. Maybe 200 100 meters earlier, 300 meters. So at 1.7-ish. And that also means we need to trigger our bar now. Our Eddie Dunbar. I did see you here somewhere, sir. Where were you? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Do you hear the police? It was just the police in the background here. In the recording. They're, it's a joke, police. This one was too bad. So they're coming to get me. Alright, I'm attached. And now, let's just move with him. 85. Just keep some pace. And... Yeah, why... Why is that the fastest lead out there is? Can we... Everyone else is dead, otherwise I would put them on my wheel. Um, can't do that now. Okay, well, 3.2 kilometers remaining. Let's go hard, let's go hard. And now our bar is active. Uh, 2.7, still not quite there. There comes Molano. Um, if we accelerate, he might already have to lose some red beforehand. 2.4, I think this is the a good time to start accelerating a bit there, we go. there the comes the, the ooh, I think we might have to sprint already now 1.8 because these corners will mean business yeah 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 yeah, yeah this is looking good come on come on fine come on. no no this is not looking good that was too early no they both get me a little bit too early should have started sprint sprinting the after the corner yeah <sighs> okay Mostly I was too late in uh, in the other sprints, and now I was a little too early. 200 meters, 150, roughly there. Yep, doesn't help it. Uh, ah, fucking hell, just third. Four bonus seconds. Molano's just killing this tour. Yeah, I think he might be leading very soon. Is he in front of me? No, he's not. He completely sucked ass in the time trial. Oh, is he here somewhere? Moscow? No, no, okay. So if we if we just manage to get enough second places, <laughs> we need we need one win or one second place and a third place um, in order to get to the front. And where is where is Molano though? That uh, is a good question because if he gets two more wins, that's 20 seconds. He might overtake me. There he is, 17 seconds back. Okay. If he gets two more wins, then he is at minus three. That will be a fight. <laughs> he seems to be super strong. Oh, shit. But on the other hand, this might not be his terrain. This is counted as a hilly stage. It's not really our terrain either, but uh, the sprint doesn't look too steeply uphill. Will be an interesting one. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time.